Welcome back. Today we have another top 10 best jailbreak tweaks that compatible with iOS 13.5. So move on to the first one. Now I'm gonna go to settings. In settings, you can see it is um, reorganized right here. If you swipe all the way down, you're gonna find system apps right here where you can find all system apps. And if I go back, the tweaks are in one place right here. And if I go to the App Store apps, and here is the app that you download from the App Store, they are available in here. So now move on to the next one. And if you take a closer look on my status bar right here, where you can see the emoji on the left side and on the right side as well. So this is the tweak that allows you to have those emoji in your status bar. So just go back to settings and then go to emoji status right here so where you can insert emoji at the bottom here so I'm gonna insert a new emoji right here and then I'm gonna click on return key and we can respring now on my status bar right here so you can find we have those new emojis move on to badge bar and if you take a closer look on my icon you can see there is no badge so instead of the number bad, you can find the bar at the bottom of each icon. So I'm gonna go back to settings and go to bad bar right here. So we can change the custom bad color right here. So I'm gonna go to this one. And then you can also hide the label. But for me, I'm gonna um, disable it. And then you can sell and respring. So I'm gonna respring right here. Click on confirm. And now you can see we have um, the label back. If you don't like default volume style, you can install Milio. So for this one, it's gonna give you a volume style. So a new one. So when I use my volume right here, you, and you can see we have the bar right here and with the new style. And you can also adjust the position as well. So I can move here. You can also use the custom color tool. So I'm gonna select here, background color. And we have also the slider drag color right here and I'm gonna respring now take a look on my volume here so we have a new one you can see here I have the app floating on my screen and where I can move all of those app to so and you can also quickly jump into the app that you have just placed it on the screen here so I'm gonna go to music where I can click on it and then it will bring me to music and it is pretty awesome i can quickly access to all of those apps you can also customize it in settings so i'm gonna go back to settings right here and then i can go to bubble apps where i can select bubble apps and right here you can see the app that i have just enabled it and then i can also select the bubble frame color right here and you can also hide the app in apps or you can just disable it and you can also use only in lock screen but I'm gonna um, show all of the play, so I need to disable all of this button and then I can respring. Now you can find this app on my lock screen too. So I'm gonna go to App Store and you can see it is launched App Store straight away. And also it's gonna show within apps. So I'm gonna go to clock and these apps are also show up here as well. So I can click to open the app straight away. Move on to transparent notification. So for this simple tweak, it's gonna give you a transparent look on your notification center, especially the notification message. So I'm gonna go to my lock screen where I can try to go to um, notification. And you can see this notification right here, it is transparent. I can see through to my wallpaper. For this simple tweak, it's gonna remove the blur from passcode screen. So if I go to my lock screen and I'm gonna tie in the passcode, and on the passcode here, you can see I can see my um, wallpaper clearly. So it is transparent, no blur anymore. So for scroll back, you can tap to go back to the last location. So for example, when I go to the web page right here, and now I am on the top of the page, but if I tap on the status bar right here, it's gonna bring me back to the um, bottom of the page, or I can just tap it one more time to go back to the top right here. Move on to perfect photo 13. It's gonna give you an enhancement on your photo app. So when I click on select right here, and then when I select on the photo, and click on delete, 
and you can see the photo is um, delete straight away so it doesn't ask me to delete so it is a quick way to delete your photo now move on to the last one so we have battery bar right here so we have the bar that represent the battery on your phone and you can see I have um, half of the battery left and on my um, the battery icon on the status bar it is also so the same way and you can also rely on the bar right now and you can see it much faster than the icon the small battery icon on the top and finally thanks for watching and I hope you like these tweaks and then I will cut you guys in the next one. By the way, you can get the film and you can check on my video description.